Hello, everybody. Brian here from quantlabs.net. Um, I'm going to talk about CBDC, CBDC, central bank digital coins. We now have a live uh, example of what it will be like living in a country uh, that has introduced this. It's uh, Nigeria. And uh, there's a couple of articles that have come out. And uh, first, I'm just going to, you're going to find every, every, all the articles in the description of this video. And just uh, go to go to the source articles for that. So I'll tell you what they are. Um, first, uh, about Nigeria, it's um, 211 million people in Africa. It's going to be one of the fastest growing countries over the next 30, 50 years. Also, Lagos, the capital, uh, largest city, I believe, in Africa as well, has over 15.4 million people. So this is not like a small little country. So essentially what's happened is um, there's a couple of articles here. And um, the first one is from NASDAQ. And they only talk about the good stuff, right? So here's the quote. So this CBDC has tiered anti-money laundering. So that's what it's really for. And know your customer, so you have to register to get it. And they'll force you to get it as well eventually. Which requires only a national ID card link phone number at the lowest level. But limits transactions every day to $120. It's, yeah, I'll get into that more. And um, they call it the e Naira, which is a Naira, if I got that pronunciation right. And this is what they say about the, the crypto, uh, about this CBDC. They're saying that it's the Apex Bank for Nigeria. So essentially, a lot of the banks that you know, retail banks, will eventually fall away. Because it's now the central bank for that country that will issue this. Now, also found on CoinMarketCap, I believe this is from today. And... Uh, this is this is the scary part. So here, here's what it contains. Uh, Tuesday, they now applied new limits on over-the-counter draws withdrawals at two hundred twenty-five dollars US, okay, per week for individuals, okay, and then twelve eleven hundred and twenty-three US for businesses. All right, and also uh, another article on Decrypt. It's bad. Taking out cash out of ATMs will be capped per day at uh, 45 cent notes and smaller denominations being available from the machines. And you'll be capped at $45 per day. <laughs> and in an inflation, how do you survive that? And now here's the hard part. This is what I don't like. Customers will still be able to take out larger sums in, um, in some instances, in some, some, but we'll have to pay processing fees between 5% to 10%. So if you want to take out more than your limit, you're now going to pay excessive fees. And probably the higher it is, the higher the fee, processing fee. And this is from your government of, of uh, Nigeria. That's how bad it is. Okay. Um, Anyways, if you like this, go into the description. There's an alternative to this, and I'm, I'm finally figuring it out. Um, if you want to circumvent this, crypto will be kind of the answer if crypto performs, okay? But I'm trying over the last couple of weeks trying to trade in crypto, and it's been really tough. Um, not losing drastic amounts, but I'm losing because of the momentum. And just right now, all the all the coins, all coins, tokens, whatever, they're like casino. They're, they're like casinos. There's no predictable uh predictable um expectation in the price and the return but i've just put out um or will be putting out a video on about stocks namely u.s stocks so i think if you have a an account with a broker a large repeatable broker in my case and i probably recommend the same interactive brokers because that way um you'll have a certain amount of money left in the account as long as it's performing and it's stable you can hide out all your capital in that broker because if they're legitimate. Now, again, I would not recommend this. But the problem I see here, even if you have real estate, if you have gold, when you transact and convert that money, whatever, the, the, the proceeds from that, and you sell it, you, it's going to be converted back into the local currency. And now you're back in this problem of eventually what will become the CBDC. Now, the good thing about this uh, thing in Nigeria, it's failing. People are not accepting it, and I don't blame them. 
but this is pretty strict. And um, again, what I recommend is people really uh, look into this because it's going to heavily, it's basically going to hobble you performing in, in your economy in, your, in, in so many ways, your travel and what you can do. Uh, I'm not a fan of this. Anyways, go in the description. You'll see my quantlabs.net slash books for the alternative. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.